We just got married. We gotta adjust the camera right here because we are live. And Allie, I'm short. <laughs> Allie for, no, no, I'm I'm too tall. That's the problem we have here. And we're fixing the camera. We just got married, ladies and gentlemen. I introduce you to the Allie Perot. <laughs> And the Gabe Perot. Oh, yeah. oh wait. <laughs> the summer. Uh, but that's all another story. Outside. No, literally. I know you guys might be disappointed that you're not seeing the wedding video right now because you clicked the thumbnail. Trust me. Hopefully, next time you see a thumbnail like the wedding photo, uh, still believe us, it will be the wedding video. Hopefully. We're still working on the edit on that. So please be patient with us and understand. But here on this episode, we're going to give you the behind the scenes and just tell you everything about our lives. I know I don't talk a lot about us personally here on this channel. I know we talk about a lot of other topics, but now we're going to be talking about our marriage and our wedding. So just come along for the ride. And I'm going to first just give the mic open to Allie and to just let her tell you about how this past month has been for you getting ready for the wedding. Um, and also you guys ask your comments in the chat because we're going to respond to a bunch of your questions and stick around to the end of this episode because we have something very uh, interesting to tell you about virgins on wedding night uh, and honeymoon. So we're going to tell you about that. So uh, so yeah, y'all stick around till the end for that one. Okay. Because I know y'all are interested. Okay. Now I'm handing it over to Allie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, wedding planning is a great way that the Gabe husband and wife up. to be <laughs> can teamwork together. And we did a lot of the wedding planning together. And Gabe oh, was yeah. very helpful. I mean, he helped us get so many of our vendors. But she stuff. was the boss. She was but the I boss. was the boss. I was large <laughs> in the charge. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so much fun. Large and I think charge. one of my favorite things oh, about a wedding gosh. is it's an opportunity where we can glorify God. And so we had different Explain. elements. We Explain had different that. elements in our wedding where we wanted to mm -hmm. yeah. um, lift the name of Jesus high, where I walked down the aisle to a worship song and we had a worship song, like a time of worship with everyone there at the start of our ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, we had prayer before the ceremony. We had a Bible that our guests signed. Just oh, all as a means to just really show our first love, which mm -hmm. is Jesus. And yeah. only can we love each other through yeah. that love that we have for Jesus and, and that he has shown us. And there were some people that had questioned us and said, hey, are you going to be sad that like this isn't going to be at the wedding or this person isn't going to be at the wedding? And we responded by just saying, we're just thankful Jesus is there. Amen. We're thankful the Father is there. And and his presence so overshadowed the, the wedding. And it was just like mm -hmm. his stamp was like, I am blessing this marriage. Like I am in this relationship. I'm with you guys. And for us, that was just a great lesson of reminding ourselves mm -hmm. the Father's there and that's all we need. Yeah, and his presence was so uh, like obvious, so evident thick. there. Yeah. It was so beautiful. Yeah. So planning, I want to tell y'all, Allie was like the DIY crushing, like she crushed it out the park. She did all the vases, all these decorations and saved like, I don't know, thousands of dollars because she was able to do it on her own. Thank God. And because weddings are no joke nowadays, y'all. To say the least, weddings are no joke. They are not. Uh, but God is our source and we trusted him. Amen. And uh, so I'm very thankful. But Allie crushed it. She was designing all these Thank things. You. And if you're trying to get a wedding, if you're de getting decorations, she's now starting a wedding business. So <laughs> Kind of. I don't know. It's in and, the she works. Did, and she didn't know I was going to share that publicly. But I am because y'all know me. <laughs> but I mean, if you guys go on my channel at some point, I'm going to share some hacks on how you can save money for your wedding. So yep. stay tuned. <laughs> yep. Or somebody said DIY queen. Yep. <laughs> Amen. Well, you guys ask your questions in the comment chat and we'll just try to get to all your questions. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the background. Sometimes I get distracted by the background. <laughs> it's funny too, because it's not winter anymore, but we put on the winter background. I don't know why we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think you missed the winter. I think I did miss the winter. I think I think we got the one wrong one on that. But all right, so wedding came around. How are you feeling on wedding day? Like, what was going through your mind? Oh, on the wedding day, I was just so excited to be married to him. Like, mm -hmm. I was just like, everyone asked me, "What's your favorite so, part of the day?" And I was like, "I just want to be married. Yes. I just want to hear, yeah. like, she is your wife and he is your husband. Like, I I want that to be." And married. I know some of y'all are like, "How long have y'all known each other?" Some people say we've only dated for a short amount of time, but for us, it felt really long, and it was super annoying to be honest. Yes. And it was all three days was yeah. so long. I'm just <laughs> yeah, we kidding. only dated for three days. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, how long did we date? Nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine months. So, but and I know people are laughing at that, being like, "Oh, y'all dated so short." Well, that felt long to us. And I don't know. Honestly, my lesson that I learned throughout this entire experience was, like, do not date until you are for sure ready to marry the next day. Because once you find the person that God has for you, and once you know that they're your wife or they're your husband, they're your spouse, like you will have nothing inside you that wants to waste time. Mm -hmm. And you will only be looking to get the job done and get married, especially yeah. as a believer, especially as someone that stays pure um, and, and someone that stays faithful. Yeah, and the thing is timing looks different for every couple, but mm. also like, yes, we were together for nine months, but we had years of preparation preparing our hearts exactly. for marriage. Yes. 
and ourselves for this relationship That's in general. So, so I think like more than just like the amount of time that you're dating someone, make sure that you're actually preparing it, for marriage. Invest in yourself and you will yes. be investing in your marriage. Also, Definitely. you guys are watching this video and you're, you're seeing like the good fruits of our relationship, but there's costs to our relationship. There's things that you have to lay down. There's things that you got to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And there's ways and directions in which you have to understand that it's not just all rainbows and sunshine. Like you, like it, there's going to be costs that you yourself are going to have to sacrifice to get ready for so that you can be in the place of being married and it's not just a thing i think too many times especially in our culture nowadays there's this thing about marriage and relationships that's just like oh yeah i'm gonna get a cute relationship like that youtube vlog as well and then yeah. my life's gonna be great it's like no you gotta invest in yourself you yeah. gotta discipline yourself you gotta walk with god yourself you gotta love god yourself i, yes. I would have never even met ali if i didn't listen to god st to start up my youtube channel and then to start up my tiktok and then instagram and then be scrolling through on instagram and find her and then I'm doing ministry. She's doing, like, there's so many intricate puzzles, yes. pieces of this puzzle that if you don't obey God in the little things, he won't reward yeah. you with more. You got to get out of your comfort zone. There are going to be times exactly. when the Lord calls you to do exactly. something that's like, mm, that just does not sound like the easiest or the fun. I don't know. I don't know if I want to yeah. do that. Yeah. But if we had not done those things, we wouldn't be together right now. And if you're looking for the one and you're all the way looking, look first in the mirror, find mm -hmm. the one in you, the one, and you be the one for yourself and for God mostly. And you, and then the one will come along. Um, so, okay, we're going to try to get to some of y'all's questions. Now, y'all have not asked too many questions. I, I always come at y'all in the comment chat because all y'all say is amen or W or yes. <laughs> y'all be commenting some boring questions. So y'all better comment some thoughtful questions right now. I want to see it. <laughs> no, but uh, okay, more of the pudding. I'm going to say my perspective. I was yeah. just excited and ready. Think? Your boy was a full a full little man, a man b believe, <laughs> in, believe in man. I say man because your boy was a full virgin out here just happy to get. So that's what was a little bit challenging. Yeah. Um, but it was just so much fun. We had a, a great DJ too. We loved him. He was like 99 years old and we loved no him. No joke. No, we, we loved him so much. No. He was so sweet. He was so sweet. Uh, we loved him. What is his name? Buddy? Buddy, yep, buddy, buddy the, the DJ. DJ. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, he didn't even know how to do the DJ. Like, he was like, he, how did he introduce you? Well, no, he said, he said, welcoming for the very first time, first time. Gabe and Amy Perrell. <laughs> So, um, my other name is Amy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait, what if you had got you, that? What if that was a gotcha moment? What if your name was Amy? <laughs> what and if? I didn't know until then. <laughs> that would be so bad. No, that's funny. Okay, y'all got some better questions uh, out here. Um, so somebody said, I have a question. How long do you date her? Well, you were on the live stream two minutes ago because you would have heard my answer. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, nine months. Um, oh, wow. Everybody kept asking that. Um, oh, somebody commented that they're going to fart. Okay, good for you. <laughs> they said, where did y'all meet? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Nancy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just looking at the one that said <laughs> <laughs> Of course you are. <laughs> okay. We met in uh, Instagram originally and then Alabama. And then yeah. I drove to Alabama. Your boy was a simp. Um, how long, long distance how, for a little bit. How long were you wanting to get married? Uh, we, I, honestly, I knew that she was my wife for, since first seeing her. Now, now my conscience was telling me like, Gabe, you're stupid. You're crazy. She's not your wife yet. You don't even know her. Like you're just seeing her for the first time ever. But like my heart, my spirit man kept giving me peace about pursuing her more, more, more step by step though. And don't worry. He never said God yeah. told me you're my wife. Yeah, no, don't do that. Even if <laughs> don't God, do that. even if God tells you she's your yes. wife, don't tell her that you need yes. to walk by faith and take things yes. step by step. Yes. Um, and cause also you, you could be wrong. And so it's better to just take things step mm -hmm. by step. And, and go by faith about the next step that God has given you, whether that's be friends and then date and then, you know, mm -hmm. like go go off of that. Um, somebody says, how do I find the one that God has for me? First, find yourself in God. First, I, I look back and like all the times in my life that I thought I was so ready for marriage and so ready for a relationship. And I was like, yeah, God's going to give me this wife and I'm going to go to Bible and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Well, no, if I was being humble and honest, I would realize how immature I was, how young I was, how, but not just young, but like how misunderstanding I was of real life. And it would have been better for me to just look in the mirror and get myself figured out and uh, get my career figured out, especially as a man. Now, as a woman, I think the logic there is a little bit different. But as a man, especially, you are to provide and protect the woman. And I promise you this, you will not struggle to find a woman that wants to be protected and guarded and provided for. You will never struggle to find that type of woman. But first, you need to do that for yourself. And uh, you still live at your home? Well, I don't know if you should be thinking about a woman. I think first you should think about yourself. Think about how you can move out first. Because when you get married, you're going to have to move out. So I think even maybe you should move out before you get married as well. I mean, there's so many different things that we could go into about that. But how do you feel after being married? 
and uh, walking down the aisle. Oh, yo, I was not trying to cry. I was like, no, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna smile and be excited when she walks down the aisle. Your boy was crying before she even walked down the it aisle. Was so sweet. On the second, what, uh, what's your girl's name is it called again? I forget. Oh, bridesmaid. bridesmaid. On the second bridesmaid, I was crying. Uh, I was like, <laughs> Got it was so sweet. He was literally crying so much. Even when I came up to him and he was like wiping his tears, like, stop. <laughs> I was like, stop reminding me. It was so me. cute. That was funny. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're looking for a hotel on the honeymoon. Your boy is like, vroom, 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 like looking for a hotel. Sure enough, everywhere is booked or like $250. And so I was like, what is going on? Now I know you're probably saying, Gabe, you should have had that figured out. And you're totally right. I should have. I thought he had but, it figured and out. I thought I had it figured out too. <laughs> But I actually only planned all the hotels for the honeymoon and not for that night. And so I thought we were going to the apartment, and then I did it, and then it was all over the place, okay? Your boy was lacking in there that area. There is grace. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful. No. Um, but anyways, we ended up finally finding a hotel, and we were so thankful. But then, get this. But then. We get to the desk, and she was like, are you... And then she said my phone number and she was like, I've been trying to call you. Uh, I, I was trying to tell you that actually the room isn't open anymore. And we were like, what? But then she saw that we were married and she was like, but I see that you guys just got married and I can't do this to y'all. So I'm gonna just tell the next person that their room is booked. <laughs> and so she gave us their room. Now, if you're that person watching this live stream We are right so now, sorry. If you're that person from Alliance Airport in Fort Worth, Texas, I apologize. <laughs> no, um, I apologize. Uh, no, but you know, it was the favor of a married couple. But that gets into our final topic before we talk about our honeymoon. Uh, situations um, and, and which I want to talk about something amazing that I found about marriage is the two becoming one is like you came in with your name with your prestige with your who you are and then I came in with who I am and now it's like we're not separate anymore but like we come in with both together mm -hmm. it reminds me of Jesus and to anyone watching this live stream right now and you feel like you have nothing you feel like you don't have much money you feel like you don't have your stuff figured out you feel like your life just isn't working out let Jesus marry you today mm -hmm. let him be your Lord today um, walk down the aisle to him today and let him nurture you because now Ali, everywhere you go, you're not Allie's and Mortimer, you're Ali Perot. Exactly. And you embrace both my both my cons and pros. But the good thing with Jesus is you just get his pros because he doesn't have any cons. He's only good. Because Jesus doesn't pick his boogers on a live stream. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> no I'm what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm no. No, but you know, everywhere you go now, you introduce yourself as Ali Pro. You're you have full access to the channel, the bank account, the uh, mm -hmm. everything of my life you have full access to. Yeah. And now I'm I'm only so good, but Jesus is even greater. And so yeah. to me, I've just learned like, wow, I am married to Jesus. Like I have full access to everything of heaven through Christ. Yeah. Um, so that's something I brought out of marriage and I'll let you speak about something you think about or learn from being married for now two weeks. And I know we've only been married for like nothing and y'all are probably making fun of us. Y'all are like, y'all barely married, but I'm telling you, we have some experience now and we're going to share it. <laughs> I would just say that just a reminder, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but Marriage is not this like, I, once I get married, everything's gonna fall into place. Everything's gonna be perfect in life. Right. No, that's not, the, that's not the truth. You're mm -hmm. still going to have the same kind of insecurities that creep up. The enemy's still gonna try to speak lies to you. There, it's, life is not just sunshine and rainbows mm -hmm. when you're married, obviously. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot more people talk about that though in, in all reality. And I think the respect of marriage and the love for marriage in our society currently has kind of decreased. Declined, yeah. Because while, yes, marriage doesn't complete me, Jesus completes me, marriage is such a blessing in my life. It's a gift from God. And we are so enjoying being yes. married. Like, yes. I'm so glad to finally be in this stage of life. Amen. And so, praise Amen. Jesus for that. Amen. And before you leave, we want to pray for you and mm -hmm. just bless you. And this isn't about an entertaining video that just so that you think something of us. It's This is really to minister to you about the love that Jesus has for you, the relationship that he welcomes you in, the full intimacy that the, it, it takes to be open with him and give him everything you have and you'll access the gates of heaven. So Father God, we just pray for this viewer. We thank you that their hearts are open to you. God, we thank you their eyes are enlightened to the power of your name. Jesus, we thank you for welcoming us into your family. Let us never forget, let us never forsake who you are. Christ, we give you all the praise. We thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Now, guys, <laughs> before we go, and I just want to lower this. There we go. I think, is that better? That's much better, isn't That's it? That's better for my height. That's better. <laughs> and now, does it cut off half my head? Yeah, but I don't really care. Here, we no. can go up a little bit for you. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, but before we go, we have some details to share about the honeymoon and about how your boy was speeding trying to find a hotel. You know what I'm saying? No, but we, we, we have some details to share. Uh, we, were, we, were just some, we were just some virgins on wedding night. 
And so we have some details to share that I think you guys will be blessed by hearing. Uh, and so, so if you wanna watch that right now, we're gonna continue this live stream. I know y'all are gonna get annoyed at me for saying this, but <coughs> only on Rumble. So basically, you tell them. You know what? You tell them. You tell them. Well, well I don't know where the link is. <laughs> oh, it's in the description. Oh, okay. <laughs> good question. Oh, that was perfect. That was, <laughs> that was a good word. See, you did it right there. All right. So uh, if you guys want to watch, just click the link in the description right now because we're going to go live on Rumble right now sharing more details. So check that out. Also, subscribe to that Rumble. Go make a Rumble account. YouTube has banned me once before for seven days. As the channel gets bigger and bigger, the more likelihood of things going crazier. So go subscribe to the Rumble right now. Click the link down in the description below. Finally, before you also leave, I just want to say this devotional built different. Nine day devotional where you will understand your identity in Christ Jesus. People have testified that the Holy Spirit has walked in the room and touched mm -hmm. them from this devotional. Allie, what do you think about the devotional? Should they get it? And Oh, what were you saying? I was going to say the Barnes and Noble link is down in the description below, but should they get this or not? what? A hundred percent. I've read it myself. I'm not biased. Like, I promise. Even if I, even if I wasn't your wife. Married to him. Even if I wasn't oh, not biased. Wife, I would uh, still so appreciate this. Like, this has helped me. I remember reading it like months ago before it was released and I was just like, and it will help wow. you understand your gifts and talents and the, yes. the career to go with and how to hear God's voice, how to choose the right person. It will like it breaks down so many things. It has declarations, scriptures, and so many more. You know things. why it's helpful? It's because God's word is in here. Amen. And his word is life. Come on. So it's titled Built Different. Link is down in the description below. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, stores everywhere. Go check it out. Now we're gonna go live on Rumble. So go click that Rumble link down in the description below. And somebody said how many kids? Well, we're expecting ten. Um, we're gonna do All ten, at once, ten kids right? and counting. Correct. Correct. No. <laughs> No, we're gonna do 20 kids and counting. We view it as a record, so. No, Gabe, 120. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, 